What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's video will be showing you how to set up the RPC bridge to purchase NFTs using the Darrow network and at darrownfts.com. Now the two things we're gonna need for this process is obviously the Ngram GUI wallet, which is where you store your Darrow coins. And the second thing would be the RPC bridge that is gonna allow you to connect to the Darrow NFT platform where you can purchase NFTs. Just like you would on any other platform, this is how you would do it using the Darrow network. So for full disclaimer and for security purposes, when you're using the RPC bridge with a Darrow wallet, you never wanna use your main Darrow wallet as this is a third party add-on. Security is obviously a little bit lower um, as it would be if you were just using your own node or using a trustless system that didn't require third party development. So what I would do is if you wanna purchase a Darrow NFT or ever use the RPC bridge, make sure you're using a wallet that you only hold a small amount or a small balance of Darrow in, not your main HODL wallet of Darrow coins. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Ngram wallet, which you can see here currently on my screen, I am logged into mine already. If you've never set up your Ngram wallet or set up a Darrow wallet before, please check the video I've linked down in the description below, where I basically go over the entire Ngram wallet platform, how to set up your own wallet and how to set up your own account. And then once you've done that, you can come back on over to this video where we are right now and continue the process. So now we're ready to begin the process of connecting our Ngram GUI wallet, our Darrow wallet to the RPC bridge that will be able to connect to the Darrow NFT platform where you can purchase your NFTs from. This will be the exact same process if you wanna use the Darrow DEX, which I'll be covering in a, another video coming up soon. So all I'm gonna do now is go and use the right arrow key to bring me over to the CyberDEX section. And this is where we're gonna create a username and a password that will allow us to connect our wallet to the RPC bridge to be able to connect to the Darrow NFT platform. So right now just create a username and a password to be able to connect to RPC bridge. Um, any username and password will work just fine. Once you've created your username and password, just hit turn on. And now you've allowed that username and password to connect your wallet to the RPC bridge. So now everything that is needed on the Ngram GUI wallet is completed. We can switch on over now to our web browser where we're going to download the RPC bridge from the app store. So you can see the extension here now on the Chrome web store, the Darrow RPC bridge. All we need to do now is just hit add to Brave, hit add extension. And once we've done that, you can see it's been added to our Brave section here. And we're gonna pin, just pin this to our browser window so we can always have that there and we can see it quickly. So now that we have the RPC bridge installed, we can just head on over to the Darrow NFT trading section here on darrownfts.com. And now that we're on the darrownfts.com collection page, you can see that we haven't connected our wallet yet or our bridge extension. So at this point, what we need to do is go to the top right hand corner where our Darrow RPC bridge is. And we need to paste in the correct address here to connect. So I'm just gonna paste that in now and hit set. Now that we've hit set, you can see we've connected to the network. And now what we need to do now is put in our CyberDeck information, which I will do now. And then hit set. And now you can see that I've connected my Ngram wallet, same balance as you saw before on my GUI wallet. I'm connected to the network. And now if I just refresh this page, you'll see that now we've connected our wallet address and our account to the Darrow NFT platform. And now we can begin to purchase an NFT of our choice. So what I'm gonna do now is go on over to Darrow Seals NFTs and purchase my first NFT using the Darrow network. So we're just gonna go on over here to this collection. And I've already chosen one here, got a nice top hat and some glasses, a decent uh, rarity score. And I'm gonna just click on this guy. There he is right there. Just wanna take a little peek at him. And then I'm just gonna go down, down to view. And you'll see that the price currently is 35 Darrow and I wanna buy this guy. So I'm gonna hit buy, send transaction. And then once the transaction is sent, you'll see the Darrow RPC bridge pops up. This is kind of like MetaMask, right? It's basically creating a connection between the third-party platform and your wallet, right? On MetaMask, you have the third-party connection plus a web wallet built in. With this, you're using the Darrow platform to buy NFTs off of, the RPC bridge to connect to it, and your Darrow GUI wallet, which is your Ngram wallet, which is where your coins are stored. So basically, this is the middleman in between the platform and your wallet address itself. So what I'm gonna do right now is just confirm the transfer. Hit confirm. The fees will be on there. You can see now that I'm purchasing this Darrow NFT. And you now you'll see here on the recent transactions, this has been successful. We have transacted. We have one confirmation on the network. I now currently own this 
Darrow Seal NFT, and I paid 35 Darrow for it. So now what I can do is I can just hit close here, and the transaction has been successful, so I can just go to close this, and then I can just control refresh, and you'll see that I'm now the proud owner of Darrow Seal number 2141, and at this point now I can choose to add this NFT to my Darrow wallet. To do that, all we're gonna do is just copy this right here, and then go down to wallet, NFTs, and then once we're over in this section, we're just gonna go over to actions and then hit add NFT, paste that in, hit submit. And I can see seal number 2141 with his top hat and glasses looking all jacked is currently in my Darrow wallet. And now there's my address, there's my NFT, and this is the first NFT I've ever purchased using the Darrow blockchain and the Darrow network, and it was basically that easy. There wasn't many more steps than you would normally do using Ethereum or Solana or Binance, and this process will only be refined as time goes on and more development takes place. Now, all the documentation and uh, addresses you're gonna need to do this process, I'll post down in the description box below this video. That way you can just copy and paste all the information you need to make the process seamless and very quick for you to purchase your own NFTs and how to also connect to the RPC bridge to use the Darrow Dex, which I'll be doing a video on in the coming days. Thanks again for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks and have a great day.